The next day, we headed off by boat to check out some of the other Aeolian islands and started with the biggest of the seven, Lipari. Lipari is a volcanic island that is covered in pumice and obsidian. And pumice mining has become a main industry in Lipari, and it's exported all over the world. In the main town, which bears the same name of the island, the busiest street is Corso Vittorio Emanuele, known by the inhabitants simply as Il Corso. On this road that begins just at the foot of the port, you'd normally find a lively atmosphere with tourists and locals mingling in the shops and bars on the promenade. But at this exact moment in human history, it was quiet. But we headed up the hill to Piazza Mazzini, which is where the town's municipal buildings are, and also a pretty spot to grab an afternoon snack at Ristorante de Filipino, where I could reminisce about the last time I was sitting right here. I was on a trip where I took my parents all around uh, Sicily a couple years ago. We came to this restaurant for lunch, and uh, I just remember it being pretty nice, you know, in this beautiful little yeah. sort of piazza yeah. that's raised up above the, the city a little bit. Yeah. yeah, you can't, you know, you can't really beat all the colors and just... And with limited time, we hopped in a van and cruised around to see the highlights of Lippery. And I must emphasize the word high within highlights. I feel really high right now. Yeah. I'm a little scared. We're right on the edge of this cliff, but... And we were told by our sound guy, Valet, we had to go to this spot because you can see all that. of the Aeolian Islands, every single one. So, Frank, let's pretend for a minute that I haven't memorized where each island is, okay? Okay, let's start what from... You tell this, me? this one. This one, yeah? Salina. Salina. Okay. Our home. Our home. Alicudi. Alicudi? Yeah. Okay. That's Fili Kudi. Fili Kudi. Ali Kudi, Fili Kudi, Salina. Ali Kudi, Fili Kudi, Salina. And do people live on those ones too? Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay. The first one there. Yeah. Panarea. On the right, Panarea? Yeah. Okay. On the left, we have Stromboli. Stromboli. Yeah. So, what is so special about this group of islands? You know, like it seems like a lot of, you know, movie stars and people have, you know, here. they've recently kind of discovered this place. You know, you think it has something to do with the, the, so I the think, getaway, you know? It's just Yeah, exactly. A place without person that say to you, oh, please, a photo, oh, a selfie, or a signature for me, or for my mom. Say hello to my mom in your ass. No. It's kind of like a, it's an escape from reality, these islands. Exactly. Yeah, and also, escape from the real life. And also, if grind. we stay yeah? for one second in silence, you hear the sound. That's why, you know? To refresh your to, mind. Yeah, exactly, and think about other work done. Your body. Your body. Yoga. Cleanse. Yeah, exactly. It's a cleanse, a place to cleanse. I love it. Yeah. Lippery is a perfect island getaway to refresh your soul and get some relaxing, peaceful moments. But next up, we headed across the sea to another island which seemed a little more adventurous. It's a beautiful day in paradise. Yeah. It is. It's cool, these little caves over here. Yeah, over there, there's three, three caves. caves. Three caves. It's kind of like Indiana Jones. Do, 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 do. It's good. It's good? Yeah, you have to try. Next time you have to try. So in the spirit of Indiana Jones, we found ourselves on the small island of Volcano. And after a tasty gelato, we went to check out the volcanic black sand beach where warm geothermal springs are bubbling all around. People come here to take salty mud baths and enjoy the naturally hot water freely emanating from the sea. You know, uh, this volcano is not active, but if you see the sea, there is a bubbling. This is like a hot spring, yeah? Yeah, exactly. And that's from the geothermal activity of an old yeah, volcano? I, I, yeah, I think, yeah. That's very beautiful. Yeah, it is. Also, the colors is interesting because you have the green, the, the black there, the 
yellow and white uh, behind us. You know, it's like sulfur. Yeah, the sulfur. Yeah. And also you have the rocks is red. Sadly, our adventure that day did not allow us the time for a swim in the hot mud. But what a beautiful place to visit. As the day came to a close, we got a little sleepy and headed back to Selena for one final sunset.